Thank you very much, <coughs> sir. Honorable member for Janjambure. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank, thank you very much for giving me the floor. Uh, Madam Speaker, I want to first of all join my former colleagues in thanking the, uh, the committee, standing committee, for coming up with a very brilliant report that is fairly and squarely balanced. Because you look at the subject, the assignment properly, and then you came up with this report. So I join my colleagues in uh, thanking you for that. Um, Madam Speaker, the debate here today is on the request from the executive to extend to e extend the period from seven days that is ending today to 90 days. And I don't think there is anybody here who would deny that there is a need for extension. The argument will be more on how long do we need to extend it for. And I think that is, the debates are more based on that rather than not accepting the extension. Madam Speaker, the committee came up with a recommendation for 45 days. I was initially with the op opinion that we could have in extended by 21 days, but by the end of which the Minister of Health would have come up with a proposal. But since the committee came up with 45 days, I accept that. But I know the Ministry of Health is giving daily briefings. But by the end of these 45 days, sorry, by, by the end of every 14 days, I think there is a need to have a comprehensive list, or a comprehensive report on the situation in the country. We have been told that today, 41 people who were quarantined would be out of quarantine. That's what we are told. We had a hundred a hundred and some 70 or so that were on the quarantine. And the rest in the next 14 days would be also quarantine, would be out of quarantine zone if they are found not to have the virus. So therefore, there is a need in the next 14 days to have a comprehensive list from Minister of Health of the situation of the country at that time. How many people would, up to that time, would we have suspects? How many would be, God forbid, those who are up, uh, positive? There is that need for that report. Madam Speaker, on the question of these non-essential commodities. Yesterday, 
I have a visitor in my house. He, he, he happens to have a place in, on the streets where he sells the second-hand clothing. And he told me, you guys are going to the National Assembly tomorrow for this extension. My business is termed as non-essential com non community. Well, to other people, it might be. But to me, who sells this second-hand clothing, this is where I feed my family. Every day when I come here, before midday, when I sell one, two, three things, I send it to my wife to come to the market to come and cook. How or where would you put us? I can't answer that question. I told him, probably you listen to, look at the tele today, there'll be this debate. People will come with suggestions. And at the end of the day, we'll come up with a recommendation for the executive, whether it's going to be 90 days, or one week, or two weeks. Madam Speaker, I have a feeling, and a lot of other members have expressed it here, that there is a need for certain com uh, members of the community. They are to be compensated. Somebody like that second-hand clothing seller, who is paying his tax, I ask him, do you pay your tax? He said, yes. And at the end of every three months, he goes to GRA for them to assess him, and he pays. So to be able to get those type of people for compensation is very easy, because if you go to GBOS or GRA, you should be able to get their, 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 their figures and their names and all their business. Madam Speaker, on the side, on the side of uh, the emergency on this issue, like I say, nobody here is with the opinion that we should not increase. But to be really honest, what do we do when we increase, when we increase this uh, duration to 90 days? And how are those people going to be affected? Dude, he said for this last 10 days, he had to go from one compound to another to, to be able to get $50, $75 for his family. That was for 10 days. If, it is, if this is increased to 90 days, that's going to be a disaster for him. So I think, Honorable Minister, there is a need for the government. There is a lot of, one of some, some colleagues mentioned it here, a lot of misunderstanding that needs clarification. Because if you don't inform people, you leave them to speculate. And there's a lot of speculations going on. The president has given 500 million. Recently, this morning, I saw on the papers that $10 million is given by WHO. Are these the same amount? If they are not, we are talking of a billion. Dollars. If 500 million is given to Ministry of Health, how is that money going to be spent? I think we need we need to know that. We need to know that. Is that five million plus the 10 million from WHO? Are they the same or are they are they different? Because somebody told me. 
that the 10 million, when you convert it to Gambian dollars, is 500 million. So it's the same. And I said, no, I don't know. I don't want to preempt. So I would ask the minister to clarify for us. Number two, when the Minister of Finance came here during our last sitting, he explained that the Minister of Health requested six million initially from them. And they gave them only four million. Is this 500 million inclusive of this, that four million or not? This is not clarified. So like I say, if these things are not known to people, you leave them to speculate. And government needs to come up to explain this to people. And I think Minister of Health, the 500 million given to them, before they, they start spending from it, it has to be very clear that these and these and these things are, is what we need. Again, rumors. It. Somebody said it here, that majority of that money is going into allowance payments. Whether it's true or not, that is left for us to know. And the only way we can know this is when we have a thorough breakdown of what the Minister of Health needs to do with the 500 million or the 1 billion that is already at hand. Madam Speaker, for transparency's sake, I am going with the opinion that we increase the extension to 45 days. But hopefully, before the end of probably next two weeks, when the Ministry of Health is to give us a, a thorough breakdown of what and what they would have need to buy from this 500 million or 1 billion, we need to know the situation. And also, in the event, in the next two weeks, those under quarantine are, are, are found to be negative. What is going to happen? Do we have to come back? Or the Ministry of Health should tell us what would happen then. So this was why I was saying probably if suggestions were to be taken other than the, that of the standing orders, I would have gone in for 21 days. So that by the end of that 21 days, before the end of that 21 days, the Ministry of Health would have given us a report of the remaining people that are quarantined, number one, and number two, a, re a report, general report on the country situation as at then. So I, the minister, minister himself is here, so I, 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 I would want to know the 500 million given to, declared at cabinet level how this is going to be used by the Ministry of Health and whether the 10, 10 million from WHO is part of it. So on that note, I don't think my other issues are already, already being addressed. I, I beg to take my seat, Madam. Thank you very much, Honorable Member.